early Monday, no, Tuesday morning, baby. Today is beautiful Tuesday morning in this absolutely ridiculous world we call truck driver. Now, I know it's tough out there, truck drivers. You ready to throw in the towel. You already threw in the towel. Andrew tried to throw in the towel, too, but... Who oh, is hard to get a job out of here? Who is tough? It's tough, it's tough, it's tough, drivers. And all the rules didn't change. Back when I first got in the truck driver, you picked up the phone, you made a phone call over to either Prime Inc. or Night Transportation. I did both of them, if y'all don't remember. But you make that phone call. They say, when can you be here? I said, hey, <laughs> send that bus ticket. They sent you the bus ticket. You was gone. Fast forward, we in 2023. They asking me for resumes. You got to line up interviews. They got to see you face to face. You got to sit down with the suit and tie guys. Lights, camera, action. They drilling you on all these questions you ain't got not now. Piece of answer to. Now, the company that I told y'all paying $29 an hour, they called back today. They said, all of a sudden, I am now the ideal candidate. Yes, I am now the ideal candidate. And they want to interview tomorrow at 11 a.m. I will be there. I will be there, okay? Yes, I will be there. Now that we got that part out the way, I signed uh, all the insurance information for uh, my new insurance lady. For the $8,900, so C to the A to the J will still be in business in 2024, okay? We're still going to be in business. How often I'm going to be driving my truck? I don't know, because if I take the suit and tie position, I'm only probably going to drive my truck maybe two days out the week, maybe one day, I don't know, but... Oh! Netshio, what's the plans for Netshio, okay? So... If y'all don't remember, I gave y'all two different plans. I gave y'all a plan if I was a company driver. Then I gave y'all a plan if I was uh, to stay on the operator. I didn't really give y'all a plan of both of them. I do both of them. I didn't think that was going to happen. I'm not saying I'm going to get the job. I'm just saying now all of a sudden I'm the ideal candidate. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, truck drivers. No. You want to know what's the plan for 2024? Uh, grow money. Yeah, grow the money. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do is grow the money. Now, first of all, if you woke up this morning like Andrew, you must have noticed, you guessed it, Tesla is up again. Yeah, the whole market is up again. I look, man, I had to go and look at my one month. Just look at one month for the whole month. 30 straight days. I'm up 14 I think I'm up 15%. I'm up 15% in the market, baby. 15%. Whoo, damn it, boy. So, anyways, my plan, if I get this company driving job, I told you guys that all that money is going to go to the stock market. So, you're going to ask Andrew, what stocks are you going to put your money in? This ain't investment advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, okay? Now, Number one, it'll be going in Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, NVIDIA, Tesla, okay. And then as far as my ETFs go, VOO and VGT, okay. Real heavy on technology in 2024, okay. Real heavy, real heavy, okay. Tesla doing a wonderful job. Tesla's always been doing a wonderful job, okay. That's all I got to say about that. Now, we got some confusion going on. On some of the other YouTube channels, um, my man was doing a video. Oh, uh, right now he's targeting HT, but he had got some uh some information kind of wrong. So I figured I would come and just uh I'm not trying to start an argument. I'm just educating him on uh something he had got wrong. So in his video, he was saying that you know. Owner operators out here buying thirty thousand dollar engines, and I guess they're not getting their return back. 
So I'm guessing he's talking about Coco. So I will explain that situation just so you guys can determine if she made her money back or not. Now, the reason I can explain is because I was there. She got the engine rebuilt, came over to Andrew, took our first load. Very first load, it was me, her, and Justin Lewis. We got a load, $12,500. Coming out of the Memphis area, going to Utah. I went, Justin went, it was Anthony too, but what happened to Anthony? Something happened with Anthony's equipment, and he wasn't able to get on, get that 12500 I can't remember what happened, it's been so long ago. But anyways, me, Justin, Coco, we all got loaded. Coco had a, uh, a breakdown, so we didn't all take off at the same time. So me and Justin, we went up there. My load got rejected. I was sick. I was sick because this was our first full grade load. It's getting rejected. And it's my insurance. Oh, oh I was sick. I was sick. And it was my, like I said, it was my first time doing full grade. They didn't reject Justin Lewis, though. He got up there. He delivered. It was my go. And uh, as y'all know, the uh, tank wash, they didn't do a good job washing out my tank. So when I got to Utah up there in that full gray laboratory and they got that flashlight out and they started smelling all that mold coming out the trailer, they rejected the whole load. I was so sick. I said, what am I supposed to do with this? They said, oh, it's not a problem, man. Um, whatever they paid you to bring it up. They gonna pay you to take it back. I said, oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They paid me twelve thousand five hundred to turn around, take it back to the Memphis. It was the highest paying week in all of trucking for me, baby. It was over twenty some thousand dollars in seven some days. Oh baller out of control. I didn't know what to do with the money. I didn't know what to do with the money. But anyways, Toko got a truck fit. She ended up going to deliver. Came back, you know, just for your money, you know, uh, let's just say $2,000, you know, did hit it back. Anyways, then after that, we ended up going down to Georgia, where we had another winning lane. Another winning lane. That's when we was doing the uh, bottom drops out the bottom of the tanker. It was me and Coco, we, uh... We ran a lane for about two months down there in Georgia. I can't remember what you guys saw on YouTube. I don't I don't think you guys saw me and her together doing this lane. But I don't remember. But anyways, we did it for two months. That lane was approximately paying us about sixteen thousand dollars a week truck drivers for two months. So, did she make her money back? Not only did she make the money back, not only did I make, I made my money back. You know, I had bought the blue truck, rebuilt it. I made all that money back. And then some, I decided, I said, oh, man, shoot. Rather than me hopping in the blue truck, man, let me just go and buy the, did I, is that when I bought the Classic? Yeah, I think that's when I bought the play. I said, yeah, let me just let me just buy a classic without looking at it. Yeah, I called down some dealership down in Houston, Texas, over the phone, wired the money. I don't even tell y'all the price I paid for that because I don't need people counting my pockets. But it was over twenty thousand dollars. Called down now, I bought a I bought a classic. She called down now. She bought a classic. Justin Lewis, who eventually showed up. A little bit later with the green truck. Remember the green truck, the $9,000 truck? He showed up eventually. He bought the Classic. He driving in now down out of Houston. So we made tons of money in a short period of time. So did she make her money back? She made all of her money back, okay, in just a short amount of time. So that's just to answer your question. She didn't waste the money. She made all the money back. 
and then some, okay? Now that we got that out the way, will Andrew enjoy being a company driver? I don't know. It's tough out here, truck drivers. Now, they want to pay me $29 an hour work Monday through Friday, overtime out to 40 hours, all the shoe shine benefits. That if they if they going to give me all the benefits, I ain't got to go and pay the $8,000 for the freaking, uh, what was I getting, United or... Uh, I forgot, man. I ain't got to do that now. They finna pay it. Mr. Charlie finna pay the $8,000. Give me all the shoe shine benefits. The authority still gonna be active. Yeah, we may not be pulling a lot of freight. Maybe I can put some drivers in the truck when the market gets bit better. You know how many people ask me a day, hey, Andrew, they beg me all the time, Andrew, can we please drive your truck? I tried to tell them too. I'm like, hey, look, man, the market ain't paying nothing. The market ain't paying nothing. It's not that I'm not looking for drivers. Well, I'm not looking for drivers. It's the market. There ain't no return of investment right now, okay? I don't want you to jump in my truck and go do power only, load out, trailer, JB Hunt, nah, because it's not that much. I can turn a profit, of course, because I own everything, but it's just not the money I'm used to with pneumatic. It's not the same world. And I ain't got used to just getting down to that type of thousand dollar a week. What y'all say y'all making with y'all thought? 15 to 2,000 or some shit? I ain't got down to that level yet. And I don't want to get down to that level. But in 2024, I may have to run my equipment that cheap. But I'll be backed up by Mr. Charlie. Because Mr. Charlie going to give me a check. His check going to clear every time on Friday. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Every time on Friday. Now, some of y'all going to ask me, hey, Andrew, how can you work two jobs at once? What about the ELD? That's a good question, man. How do I work two jobs at once? Oh, easy. Uh, go apply for one, work another one. That easy. Well, if you're driving a truck Monday through Friday, ain't you going to be out of ELD time? Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Not at all, driver. Not at 1997 ELD is... First of all, I'm not even going OTR. I'm just going to be doing local runs anyway. You know, just go grab your empty trailer, try to collect some $400 for the day, that type of shit. I'm not going nowhere far. I mean, it's just local runs, you know. See what I can get right here. You know, that's all. That's all. Ain't anything, nothing out the ordinary. Well, we talking about maybe like two, two hours out the day. Okay, that's all we talking about. You look on DAT low board. Just just type in um, go to field to type in um, field to about the shortest loads. You know, just thirty miles, twenty miles, fifteen miles. Somebody need a trailer. That's all. That's all. That's okay. But Mr. Charlie, getting a job with Mr. Charlie right now ain't guaranteed. If you guys knew how many applications I didn't put in, I just put an application in with McLean. <laughs> I put an application in with McLean. Oh, you know, I've been watching these McLean and these Cisco videos of these drivers talking about they out there picking cotton with that full service delivery. But McLean got a, uh, a four day work week right here in uh, Smyrna, Tennessee. I tried to ask them what the driver pay is. Only thing they could tell me is eighty thousand, eighty five thousand a year, and then I was like, "What does that break down to a week?" They said they don't know because your pay is based on like packages and a bunch of other shit that they factor in and come up with your pay. It's not hourly, so I was like, "Okay, that ain't telling me nothing." But four day work week, I can take the other three days and drive my truck. That's all I'm saying. But I guess my goal for next year, if Mister Charlie give me a job. Mr. Charlie probably paid me, when I looked at the payroll calculator, and I just done 60 hours, uh, that's 40 hours regular time at 29 an hour, at the end of overtime, I gave it 20 more hours at, uh, I think it's $43.15. I think it was like 1800 take home or something, gross like 2200 or something like that. I can't remember because I ain't looking at the calculator right now, but... The main thing is uh, the economy ain't going to get no better than that, show. So all I'm doing is just investing the money into the stock market, watching the money grow. That's all. That's all. I ain't got nothing else better to do with the money. I ain't buying no trucks. You know, I got three of them already. 
So I'm just investing in the stock market, you know. No need to sit in the bank account. They ain't finna give me no money. What they give me? Zero point zero zero nothing. <laughs> I think the bank give me like four cent, five cent, or oh, I think I'm one or something like that, you know. Ridiculous. But the stock market? Oh, 15% return this month. You damn right I got my money in Tesla. Anyways. Oh, you probably ask it, Andrew, why these stocks? Oh, okay. I'll tell you why. If you go to January of 2023, or better yet, just look at the one year. Just look at the one year for all the seven companies eight nine nine companies that I named okay just look at the one year chart you see all that percentage that it went up if they do that again in 2024 I want to make sure my money is going up just like that too for example VGT is up 45 percent for the whole year I need to be up 45 percent with them with Vanguard Information technology, I need to be up there too. I'm just saying. But anyways, that's my video for the day. I'm going to see if this barber is deciding to cut today. Because it's been real tough out here in these streets trying to get a, a fresh haircut on these uh, holiday uh, weekend. Okay? Alright. I'm going to let y'all go for the day.